BMW motorcycles develop some very forward-thinking and interesting concept bikes, and the Concept Link was no exception. Inspired by their Vision Next 100 concept, which is a look at what BMW see as motorcycling in 100 years' time, the Concept Link was their vision for two-wheeled inner-city travel. It was first unveiled in 2017 as a surprising new design concept. What is most surprising about it, though, is that you can now buy one. In just five short years, it has gone from design concept of the future to a full-blown production model. But how close is the new BMW CE04 production model to the original Concept Link? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter. Let's dive into the details. The BMW Concept Link was designed with an electric drive, with the batteries and the motor being low down between the wheels. This would mean a lower centre of gravity and better handling. The storage compartment was also low down between the wheels, further keeping the centre of gravity low and allowing for the long floating seat. The storage compartment is accessed by an electronic sliding door, which is connected to a movement sensor in the accompanying Concept Link jacket, allowing the rider to open the sliding door with a simple wave of the arm. The subsequent styling of the Concept is low and long, making a clean and sleek looking city scooter with solid disc wheels. The design uses the orange of the power cables as a design element, with orange accents and the transparent orange wind deflector, which has critical information such as navigation and battery charge projected into it to be clearly in the rider's field of vision. Other information is displayed on a large touchscreen display below it. The concept link can connect directly to the rider's calendar via their smartphone and automatically programs the sat-nav for the fastest or most scenic routes. It can also select appropriate music for the journey if the rider wants to. That's the concept, here's the production model. In its design and styling, the production CE04 is amazingly close to the Concept Link. It uses an electric drive as the Concept did, maximum power is 31 kilowatts or 42 horsepower with 62 newton meters or 45.7 pound foot of torque. It will accelerate to 50 kilometers an hour, around 31 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. There is also an A1 licensed version too with 23 kilowatts or 31 horsepower. Both versions have a top speed of 100 and 20 kilometers an hour, which is around 75 miles per hour. So the CE04 can hop on the highway and isn't just confined to the city. The battery has the same cells as BMW use in some of their iX cars. In the CE04, it is 8.9 kilowatt hours or 60.6 amp hours, which gives the big scooter a range of 130 kilometers, around 81 miles. The A1 version is good for 100 kilometers or around 62 miles. It can be charged from a standard socket. 2, which from completely flat to 100% would take 4 hours and 20 minutes. If you connect the optional fast charger, that time is reduced to just 1 hour and 40 minutes. It can be charged to 80% in just 65 minutes too with that same fast charger. As with the Concept Link, the battery is at the very bottom of the platform, with the motor right behind it, keeping the bulk of the bike low down, making it easier to manoeuvre, especially around city streets. The CE04 is quite heavy too, as electric vehicles tend to be. 231 kilograms, or around 509 pounds, so it's good to keep the weight low down. The storage compartment is in the same place on the production model, further keeping the weight low and between the wheels, although the automatic sliding door gives way to a dropping head. Door. The compartment will still hold a full face helmet and charging cable though, both pretty important, plus there are side bags available for more storage space too. And BMW do mention a top box, although I have not seen it. I imagine, although practical, it would spoil the low and clean design to the rear end of the bike. Speaking of which, the low floating seat stays, and with the avant-garde option, you still get the orange wind deflector, although the nav and battery info are not projected into it, as with the concept. But there is a 10 and a quarter inch screen with full smartphone connectivity, which has a full map display option, making it much easier to navigate your way around unknown areas. The CE04 actually has a dedicated storage area for your smartphone, which is actively cooled and keeps the phone charged and secured while connected when riding. I still can't quite believe how close the production model is to the Concept Link model. There are some obvious differences like the headlights which have been restyled, but the CE04 does have all-round LED lights and there is an adaptive cornering light option too. 
the handlebar switch gear has changed and is less futuristic but uses BMW's current navigation disc on the left handlebar. It also has BMW's keyless drive so your keys can stay in your pocket, just hop on and ride. The solid 15 inch wheels are still there and are made from cast aluminium. The enclosed rear shock is attached to a single sided swing arm, the 35mm front forks are neatly hidden away and the twin front brake discs have 4 piston calipers so should provide plenty of stopping power. ABS is standard of course but there is a cornering ABS option too. The CA04 comes with stability control which you can further upgrade to full cornering traction control as well. There are currently two colour options, white with matte black and the Magellan grey with orange accents. Just a side note that in the US the wind deflector is clear as I guess the orange one isn't in line with US regulations. In addition to the colours there are also decal kits available if you want to customise your CE04 and there are a number of seat options which include separators for the rider and passenger if you're not a fan of the flat bench look. Standard seat height is 780mm or 30.7 inches, the comfort options are slightly higher at 8 800 millimeters or 31 and a half inches still both are pretty low and should be accessible for most people and allow for a firm foot plant on the ground prices are on screen now and you know when i first saw the concept link i thought i had seen it somewhere before and then it hit me anyone remember this Battlestar Galactica's flying motorbike. This really does mean that BMW have an eye on the future. But seriously, it is rare for a production model to be so close to the concept and to go into production in such a short space of time. Remember, the CE04 went from concept to reality in your garage in just five years. So fine, this is a city scooter, but what about the big bikes? What does the electric craze and BMW have in store for them? Click on this video to find out, where we take a look at BMW DC Roadster concept. Could this be the bike you'll be riding in just a few years time? Thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.